In the next half hour, we're going to try to unravel at least one of those mysteries thanks to the talents of renowned psychic Jojo Savard. As Canada's foremost psychic astrologer, Jocelyn Jojo Savard, Queen of the Stars is quite literally a household word. Her psychic gift is extraordinary, and she demonstrates it week after week on both radio and television. And you'll find out how her special gift can help you find love and success in your life. But first, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about this remarkable woman. When she was but a child, those around young Jojo realized that she had a psychic gift. In fact, one day at the age of five, with all the innocence of childhood, she uttered the prophetic, ominous words, Mommy, hide Bernard in the closet. The angels are coming to take him to heaven. Three days before he died, she asked me, she told me sometime, put, put him in the, in the, the wardrobe and uh, he's going to heaven, something like that. She was saying that. Sadly, this dire prediction of her brother's untimely death came true just three days later, as his young life was snuffed out in a terrible accident. But two days after, he, he got killed by an accident. Jojo's formative years were filled with an interest in astronomy and the natural sciences. And she, she had a special fascination with astrology, numerology, tarot, and palmistry. Even as a kid, you know, like as girls who would play dolls, uh, she, the fun game she would prefer to do is read palms. And she did that since she was six, seven years old. When I was 13, she told me I would have two sons. I always wanted girls. She said, well, you're going to have sons. And I just gave birth to my first one, and it's a boy. And then, as a young adult, during her 20th year, something happened that was to have a profound effect on her. A senseless motoring accident, echoing that which claimed the life of her younger brother, Bernard, nearly claimed hers. After several weeks in a coma, she was pronounced clinically dead. And that's when she had her out-of-body experience. And then miraculously came the faint signs of life. A full recovery took many months. As a result of that near-death experience, Jojo was convinced that she must, must surely have some greater calling, and so began her quest. An odyssey of discovery that would take her to the remote regions of Tibet, eventually to mystical India, where she learned how to tap into her psychic gift. Today, Jojo Savard shares that gift. As Canada's foremost psychic, she's inspired hundreds of thousands, pointing them toward freedom, happiness, love, and prosperity. Wherever she goes, she says, I love you and I kiss you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jojo, goddess of the moon and queen of the stars. Mm, thank you. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. Thank you. In 1988, Jean Chrétien was not very hot. Actually, everybody thought he was out of politics for good. And even he was saying that he was, he was going back to law practice and he would never get back into politics. And she kept saying to all my friends that don't, I don't care what everybody says, Jean Chrétien is going to go back in politics and he's going to be our next prime minister in 1993. Dear Madame Savard, I take this opportunity to wish you every success in your venture into the American market. And I hope that your predictions regarding American politics turn out as well as your prediction many years ago that my husband would become prime minister of Canada in this past election. Sincerely, Aline Chrétien. Let's welcome the Queen of the Stars and the Goddess of the Moon, Jojo Savard. Well, I'm ready for a reading. So everybody wants a reading? Lift the hands. Okay. I'm just going to feel. I feel things, feel things. Please, please, please. All right. Let me see how I feel. What is your beautiful name? Laura. What is your zodiac sign? Gemini. Okay. There was something with your mother. There's a lot of connection with the mother situation that you've been working on for a long time in your life. Is it That's true? That's right. It's true? Yes, it is. How is it coming now? Very good. Okay, but you had to do the, you did the effort. Mm -hmm. I had to put the effort. And... You made it happen because you went for the unconditional love. That's right. And the fact that you even gave the love back to your mom. And I know it was difficult at some moments because she was controlling and she just, want, the possession was there. She didn't mean wrong by it. She cares a lot, except that the fact that you made peace with this will allow you to you're gonna fly around and ever, and I think that joy you have, because you are, for me, an expression of joy, and I think 
in the career situation especially, try to be even more ambitious. You can't think small no more. Time for big time. You're smart. I would go as far as saying you're brilliant. You have little sparks of genius. You could do anything. I think the things you like the most in the world, it's people. Yes, I do. I truly believe at the autumn months, at the beginning of next year, you may be the assistant of a director or somebody important. It could be somebody even involved in politics or show business, something like that. You would be fabulous. You're a natural communicator. You probably have a lot of skills in the, you understand sentences. You could deal with legal or doctor or social or business. You got the control. Okay. okay, is it true? <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, I see money, autonomy, and within the next two years, a lot of traveling. And in the sentimental situation, I feel peace in there. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. So just continue with this. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Goddess of the Moon. She's a worldwide celebrity who's predicted major world events, written over 100 books, touched hearts, and changed the lives of thousands of people just like you. Stay tuned and witness live on our show, Lives Changed Forever. See dreams come true. Love, money, career, and romance right here today on this program. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to our show the psychic power of the human spirit, the incredible JoJo, queen of the stars and goddess of the moon. Now, here is another very, very special story, very close to my heart. Watch and listen. I remember this one time we were sitting down in a restaurant having a family reunion and I was with my aunt Jojo and one of her cousins couldn't have a baby and she'd been going to see doctors for many many years searching for what the problem was and Jojo looked up at her and she said next year you're gonna be pregnant you're gonna get a daughter and three years from that time you're gonna get a beautiful son nobody believed it at that time but one year after she called us and she announced that she was pregnant and she got a beautiful daughter, and three years after that, she got a beautiful son, and she was so thankful to Jojo. When I see a story like this happen, it makes me very proud to be a psychic.